You better get on to one very quickly because otherwise I'll be only on the collector's market. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and welcome to another one of my open box reviews. This time I'm going to be looking at this particular Kitty Hawk kit. So this is the little bird in 1 to 35th scale. Now I'm just going to place it here so you'll be able to see it on the overhead camera. But uh, before we go on, I'll just uh, talk a little bit about its history. So overall design of the helicopter uh, started in uh, the 60s. Uh, it was a McDonnell Douglas uh, helicopter. Had its bases evolved into the, uh, uh, the 500. And then eventually Boeing uh, modified the version and it's become the AH-6 or the MH-6. Um, little bird. So very tiny little helicopter. There was a, a need for a small helicopter to help with observation and then also special forces um, uh, inserts into uh, conflict zones. So that's how this particular version uh, came about. Now it's got all the parts to make the two versions. Now the two versions are basically the, the MH version is the observation and um, uh, insertion type version with no armament and then the A version or the AH is the attack version. So attack version is pretty mean, it's got rocket launchers and also mini guns on it. So let's open this up, have a closer look and um, see what is inside. Now you're probably not aware that Kitty Hawk has actually uh, recently announced that they're no longer producing. So they're basically gone bust. So it's probably got a good opportunity to have a look at what the kits are like. So here you got the manual, it's quite thick. We'll get into that at the end as I usually do in my reviews. So I'll pop that to the side. Now, overall features, it, it's a small aircraft, but 35th scale, nice scale, because there's figurines in this one as well. It includes resin cast figurines. So box is a couple inches thick. Still quite a few sets of sprues. Got a little box of bits here as well. And this particular helicopter, even though it's small, you think it's simple, but it's a complicated build because it has all the engine detail. And helicopters in general are difficult because you've got an interior with this bubble canopy, which you have to work out how you're going to mask. Okay, let's pop this aside. And let's have a closer look. Let's start with the figures, I think. Figures are really interesting because they're resin cast. Now, generally resin cast figures are a more expensive aftermarket item. It'll be easier if I take this top off them. All right, so if I hold it up here, hopefully that focuses on them. Now, there, there have been different versions from my memory before where you have uh, the, the crew and the uh, Special Forces soldiers actually mounted in the helicopter in flight. This particular version is depicting a helicopter that's landed and uh, waiting to evacuate uh, the soldiers. So over here you have a pilot, over here you have one of the soldiers with another soldier over his shoulder carrying him to safety. Here you have the co-pilot outside of the helicopter guiding. And then you have two other operatives here uh, providing uh, defensive support. So the resin is also interesting in that the figures are pretty much cast in one piece, which is unusual. But it does make it easier for beginners because resin isn't the easiest material to work with. It can be uh, quite brittle when you're cutting it. Uh, and then sanding and then painting is uh, another challenge again. So they've kept it simple. You just need to cut out the, the armament and then glue that onto the, uh, uh, the relative figure there. So quite nice. Let, let me just pull one of these out and then if I hold it up, let's move that aside here. You probably have move that better idea of the sort of detail you're looking at with these particular ones. So if you just imagine this this is the co-pilot outside of the uh, the helicopter gesturing to come this way with his hand then in the other hand he's holding his uh, his personal weapon which is a, a very short Heckler & Cox uh, machine gun. So resin very crisp you see all the, uh, the creases on the figures super nice. Okay so they're the, the resin figures that come in this particular set let me just pop those aside and let's start getting into the nitty-gritty of the actual uh, helicopter. All right, so we've got this box of bits. This is very clever because nice protection with corrugated cardboard. As we open up, we have all the clear parts in it. So with these bubble canopy type helicopters, 
they're going to have quite a lot of glass. And so this shows you exactly what it's like. A bit hard to see, I guess. But here you've got the front end bubble all in one piece. There's no lines that I can see, mold lines that you need to polish out. So you just have to be careful when you're cutting off all these uh, small contact points. And then probably just sand it slightly so it's going to fit into the frame properly. Over here you have the, uh, the window glass for the doors. Okay, now looking at these versions, uh, you may leave those off maybe. I guess that would be an option because sometimes they flew without doors on them. And then you have other lenses for lighting and such. Okay, so it's nice. Alright, we'll pop that back in the box. Let's look at some of the heli bits. Alright, we'll look at this one because this has got the most recognizable parts on it. Okay, so you get your fuselage halves here. You got your um, your main cockpit doors. So these could be optional on or off. Also, you have the side doors as well. So quite often in uh, cer uh, special circumstances, I have both of these doors off. So easy access. Uh, it's very small, as you can see, very compact. When you're considering the figures only this big. So the whole idea was they wanted a small helicopter that could easily fly into various places and um, land just about anywhere. Uh, for quick insertion and also evacuation. Over here you've got the, uh, the back panel for the, uh, the cockpit. Uh, you've got the vertical stabilizer and then there's various parts that go towards the engine. Uh, so there's engine and rotor components. Uh, there's seats right here. Let's see if we have a closer look at the surface detail. I quite like how surface detail extends down very far across here because usually with mold, when you get to this point here, they have to leave it virtually uh, detailless for the mold to be able to be extracted. But there is quite a lot of detail that they've been able to, to put into there. You got all the rivets, and then different panel heights as well in here. Now obviously with helicopters, they've also got the interior. So as you can see the interiors have got a little bit of detail as well, and it's quite thin. Okay, so you need that scale thickness in there, otherwise it'll be a bit chunky. Alright, so that's the first lot of sprue there. So we get on to the next slot. Okay, so here we've got all the rotors. So this particular version of the helicopter had six rotor blades. And the way they've been molded, you may be able to see here, they actually have a curvature to them. Okay, so that's to uh, emulate the natural curvature of the weight of the blade when it's stationary. So obviously when they landed, you've probably seen it uh, uh, on TV and photos before, that they'll, they'll lift up because they're flexible blades when they're flying, but when they're static, they'll be sagging. So that's very nice how they've done that. That has a, a really natural effect. Over here we've got some more rotor parts. Uh, we've got engine bay components, uh, engine covers. Over here we've got the rockets, which would be optional for the, uh, the attack version. So there's two types of rockets here. Uh, there's uh, the base of the cockpit. So just here you see these little areas here. These are the, uh, the footrests or um, pedals for the pilots. This is the um, passenger compartment. You've got the uh, engine exhaust here, multi-piece. Uh, there's the head and then there's horizontal stabilizer. And some seating. Uh, most of these bits are for the engine. Okay. Alright, so we come up to our final sheet of sprue. It's probably better on this side here. And on this one, you've got the really, really fine and small parts which are used on the engines. And then you've got all the armament. So over here, we'll saw, this is the big flexible uh, ammo belt for the minigun. You've got some. Uh, uh, air to ground missiles. There's some more uh, weaponry here. So this is uh, personal weaponry. You've got some uh, short carbines and some submachine guns. And there's a... Now the minigun would be multi-piece I'm, I'm thinking. So here this is the, uh, the three-barreled minigun. You can see it's multi-piece. You've got each barrel here. There's three barrels. Then over here is a, another minigun. So that's the, uh, the six barreled minigun. The twin one there and a twin six barrel I should say and a single three barrel. 
So we'll look at the instructions later and we'll see what sort of uh, crazy combinations they had with the armament back then. But as you can see, really small parts. So even though it's a very small kit, there's a lot of fine detail. And it's great how these particular kits have so much surface um, detail and uh, it just looks very, very crisp. Okay, let's look at the manual. Actually, before we get to the manual, there is the decals. Okay, oh, okay. So here we've got uh, a set of photo etch. Let's go up here a bit closer. All right, so you've got big, big sections here which act as the uh, uh, extra surface detail for the cage for the, the belt for the ammo. Uh, for the big uh, minigun. Over here you've got uh, some more supports for the barrels of the minigun. Even though they were plastic versions in the kit as well, you can opt to use the photo wedge ones which would be finer. And then there's uh, tie down hooks uh, and seat belts as well, which is nice. And then underneath, which is a bit hard to see, it has the uh, protective tissue. There'll be all the markings inside. So you have decals for uh, the instrument panels and then also the insignia. Okay, let's look at the manual. Alright, so I have the manual here. <coughs> Kitty Hawk manuals can be a little bit uh, basic because they don't show you any uh, historical information. But all the rest of it is uh, on par with other brands. So you, you probably just have to do a little bit of research online or in some books to find out exactly which version you like. And then you get onto this and then the construction is pretty much the same. So over here we have... Uh, uh, the diagram describing the different sprue, what's included, so there's clear parts and you photo etch. This is the range of all your resin figures, and then this is the decal sheet. So you start with construction of the engine. So here you've got the turbine getting built together, and then this is a rear section of uh, the cabin. So this is the engine compartment, and you see how the small uh, turbine sits at the back there and then you have the exhaust popping up this side a lot of struts you can see just how many so small fine parts are there already okay from there we're moving on to the front section so this is the instrument panel this sits between the uh, uh, the pilots so you have the joysticks coming out each side and then this is the rear of the cabin you've got the seats going in the center console uh, there's the uh, the cushions for the seats and then the photo wedge seat belts. So they're useful if you're uh, not using the pilot. Obviously if you're using the pilot then you'll leave one of those sets off and then you'll, you'll fit the pilot figure in there instead. Over here we have the base of the uh, uh, the cockpit with the uh, uh, the pedals going in. The great thing about all this detail, you'll be able to see all this through the, the bubble canopy which is a huge sheet of glass. Okay, so here we've got uh, uh, this is optional, so I imagine this is the internal uh, bracing and mount for the ammunition. So this is probably a big huge ammo box which the uh, the belt uh, of ammo comes out for the minigun. Now this is showing you how to build that optional uh, type. So I guess, what do we got here? So this is the weapons mounting system, I think, which is going on the bottom of that floor pan. Okay, so again, here we see that uh, ammo box there. And you can see the pylons just on the side. So the pylons will be supporting the rocket launchers. Okay, so over here, you'll see that with that particular version, you need to open up the doors so the door panel is opened up, I guess, so you can fit all that extra uh, equipment within the helicopter. I mean, it's amazing how such a tiny helicopter can carry so much stuff. And then after it's opened up, there's these panels that can be fit uh, across to seal up all the, uh, uh, the gear inside. You'll see here the, uh, the minigun system. Now, interestingly... Okay, so they're just showing you how the door system works. The minigun assembly will come later, I'm sure. Okay, so here we've got uh, the two sides of the fuselage. Certain holes need to be opened up for certain sensors. And then you see the two sides sandwiching the internals together. Bubble canopy, and then you've got the 
the door panels going on and here's the construction of the midi guns okay so that's a six barrel one getting built there in the center is this color chart so you could always pull that out so there are your different options for decals and paint schemes okay and then over here we've got construction of the uh, the three barrel okay so the setup for the AH version which is the attack version uh, it's fairly scary because there's uh, two of the six barrel miniguns here we have a single of the three barrel so it's got a combination of three miniguns mounted on the one little helicopter you've got the skids getting put into place multiple pieces so lots of detail on the support arms over here we've got the belts for the miniguns going into place so you've got that huge photo which one that's being mounted here and then you've got the smaller ones for each side as well okay so you've got various panels getting put in place here uh, the uh, targeting system for the front Uh, little bits and pieces so you remember that last set of sprue had a lot of bits and pieces over here we start making the tail you got the tail boom getting put together vertical stabilizer horizontal horizontal and then you've got the uh, uh, the tail blades getting put in place and here we start making the rotor head okay so you got this section here with a swash plate you got the, the uh, blades going on uh, that goes onto the swash plate there with all the links and then that just simply fits onto the top of the fuselage and then the boom goes on and that's pretty much it and this is showing you the two different versions so you got the AH which is the attack version that's got all the big weaponry on it and then you have the MH which is more like a uh, observation and evacuation type setting okay and then over here they talk about additional armament so on the pylons you either have rocket launchers uh, or there's a couple of hellfires here so hellfires being the laser guided uh, and there's also the seven rocket pod as well so this section here this gives you an idea of the different options that they would have um, used in operations okay and so that is the manual for the uh, the little bird okay so Thank you for uh, watching this uh, particular open box. So again, let me just pop this over here so you can have a look. So this is the uh, Kitty Hawk Little Bird. This is the AH-6M, or you can build it as the MH-6M. Comes with the figurines. So there's a set of figurines here, the resin ones. And uh, Kitty Hawk is a, uh, a brand that is no longer with us. So if you like this particular kit, and I think this is one of the uh, quite special kits, uh, you better get onto one very quickly because otherwise I'll be only on the collector's market. So, a bit of a shame, but that's what happens sometimes. So, again, if you have any questions, just leave them with me uh, underneath the, uh, the video and we'll get back to them as soon as we can. And I hope you've enjoyed that.